Hi, so welcome to another tutorial on uh, Python programming. So in this uh, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you show you how we can use uh, conditional statement um, and uh, the for loop and while loop and uh, perform a number of tasks. Okay, uh, and and you can actually uh, do a plenty of things by uh, by using both uh, you know while loop and conditional statements. Um, and you can use them together. Okay, so we we'll just learn how we can use them together. All right. So, so what I'm going to do here is, um, um, I, I'll first check if a condition is uh, is meeting or is a condition is true. Uh, based on that, I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, um, do a particular task uh, repeatedly. Okay, or iteratively. So for that, I am going to use uh, a loop. Okay, so I am going to use a if statement, which is a conditional statement, and then I will use a, a while loop to uh, do the iteration. Okay, so let's uh, define some global variables. Uh, x is equal to 2, y equal to let's say you know 15. All right. Now a the conditional statement is like this if x is less than y all right then while uh, while y is greater than x print y uh, is greater than x all right and then i'm going to do an increment of sorry decrement of y right so y is uh, all right. So uh, what we are doing here is that we are assigning, uh, you know, uh, values to x and y, and then uh, we are checking if x is less than y. So that's the conditional statement we are using. And then if it this is true, then we are, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, using a loop while loop. Um, so if, uh, till x is less than or x is greater than. Uh, sorry y is greater than x it's going to print that y is greater than x so y has some values and x has some values and we are decrementing the value of y by 1 in um, each iteration right so what we are expecting from here is that uh, since you know the first condition is met as you can see x is 2 and y is 15 the first is true and then it's going to go inside and then it's going to loop through uh, so Let's save this and then run. All right. So when we run this, uh, it's going to uh, you know iterate through, and in the first uh, iteration, uh, x the value of y is 15 and the value of x is 2. So it says 15 is greater than 2, and then we decrement it by 1. So then 14 is greater than 2, and 13 is greater than 2, and so on till it is mm, the value of y is 3 which is true but then the, the next step the value of uh, y becomes 3 minus 1 is 2 and that's not greater than 2 so so the so the if condition is not going to be true again right after after uh, you know y becomes 3 and that's the terminating condition and it's going to terminate at that point of time right so uh, so how it executes it is first checks these two things okay uh, by taking these two values x is equal to y is equal to 15 and then it goes through the loop and then uh, it prints it in the first iteration and then change the value of uh, y the value of y gets decremented by 1 okay it's 15 now it becomes 14 and then it again checks 14 is greater than 2 and then uh, the same steps uh, follows but at one point of time the value of y will be 2 and in that case 
x is not less than y in that time because they are essentially same uh, right when y becomes you know um, 2 x and y essentially same so x is not equal to y so this first condition is not uh, met and you cannot uh, okay so the rest of the code will be ignored in that case you can also use else else if and uh, for loop while uh, together and uh, do different um, you know different um, you can solve different problems write different things do math operations along with that uh, so you can play around with that so um, so in this uh, so that's the way we can use uh, the conditional conditional statements and the uh, for loop and while loop and uh, do a number of uh, number of things um, please subscribe to the channel and uh, go to our website for more content thank you